So you've been in business about 10 years, everything is going great, you've got great clientele, everything is on autopilot, and you are making bank left and right, you don't have to think about a thing, and you got the 10 year itch, and you are bored as anything. Well, today, let's talk about how you can scratch that 10 year itch and reinvigorate your business to find the joy you once had, and not to be so bored. If you're like, me and many people in the creative fields, we get bored pretty easily. So to be in the same business doing the same thing for 10 years is a lot, especially if you've owned your own place. Even with all the day in, day out things that we do for our business, it can still get semi-boring or stale. I'd rather say stale than boring. So here's a few tips to help you move along and reinvigorate yourself. Number one, get a business mentor. I can't say this enough and stress it enough. I think it is very, very important. I've had many mentors throughout my life and they've all helped me do different things and um, different things that I was looking for at that point in my life. So if you are feeling a little stale and bored in your business, a business mentor can help you really focus in and hone in on what it is you really want. That is so important to know what you really want and what you're trying to achieve. Another good reason to get a mentor is because they can help us look at different avenues that we can take to either have creative outlets to fulfill us or different things we can do in our industry. Maybe you want to work less days and then start doing more video blogs or writing or get a publicist and really start um, expanding your horizons outside of your town. Maybe go more statewide or national or international to showcase your talents. Maybe you want to be an educator in your field and you're like, yeah, I think I can really do that. So a business mentor will really help you focus in and find what really is going to make you happy and feel um, invigorated for the next part of your life. Another thing I like to do is to rebrand. It's so fun. It's decorating, really. <laughs> it's redecorating your business, your website, everything about who you are and what you're doing and putting it in just into a new pretty package. Shiny new package. Clients love this many times because... They get to see that you are investing in your business and they feel like they're really getting the best care possible, which is really important because we want our clients to always feel like they are getting the best possible care that is out there and that we have to offer. So that's a really big deal. Um, Rebranding could be anything from, you know, very, very simple. Changing the energy is essentially what we're trying to do uh, when we're talking about the 10-year itch. Change our energy. So maybe it's wearing your hair in a little bun and just because it's so hot outside or you just feel like looking different. Maybe you want to be a little bit more medical and so you're going to maybe have your hair back and a white jacket maybe you want to be less medical so you're going to maybe you know have your hair down maybe in flowing and more makeup and big long lashes and be all glam you know there's so many choices that we have and so many things we can do to rebrand uh also adding new treatments there is not enough that I can say about educating yourself. There's a really big wide gap between those of us who educate ourselves and those of us who don't. So you always want to be not going on every single trend because most of the trends are really just not their crap. So you want to really find out what works, what doesn't, add new treatments. We are so learning so many new treatments about the skin and about what works with the skin, what doesn't. The skin has never really changed. The body has not changed, but we are just learning more about it. So as we learn more things, we are able to add in products, uh, new products, new ingredients, and new treatments that are really going to get our clients excited. You can also work less days and raise your prices. So that free time, now you can figure out what do I really wanna do? Do I wanna sleep? Do I wanna go see the world? You could definitely uh, have a lot of fun with this, especially if you learn to delegate. Delegating all these things that you don't really need to be doing. You don't need to be doing laundry. You don't need to be doing social media for your business. You don't need to be doing taxes and payroll. You can really hand all of these things off, especially if you have money coming in, get yourself an assistant, a business manager, something, somebody that can help you free up your time. And while you're freeing up your time, you really get to decide what it is that you want to do. I really believe in volunteering. So any kind of volunteering is going to make a big difference in how you view the world. It's going to fulfill your soul in ways you never even knew and really, um, make you very happy and fulfilled. And then obviously you are changing someone's life, whether it's for a few minutes, whether it's for a month, a year, a lifetime, a whole community, a whole country that you are helping to change. We have no idea the little things that we can do every day that are changing the world for the better. And it's really very cumulative and you're just going to 
really find joy in that. Um, and I, I think it's important to go back and to say, okay, when did I start to feel a little stale, a little bored in my business? Go back to that time. Don't spend a lot of time there. <laughs> Revisit it and think about where, where was I? What was I doing? What happened? And then like, okay, say, thank you for sharing. That was very nice. Now get rid of it and then start a whole new chapter of where you're going to be re-energized, reinvigorated and reinvested in yourself and your business. So don't have too long of a time in the past. Time to move forward. Let me know how these things work for you. Definitely, you want to reinvent yourself, get a business mentor, rebrand, volunteer, try new things, take a new class and get new treatments. And most of all, have fun.